All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Makar, Kadai. Rakatham, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, they were well. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are out here laboring, pushing this truth in all sincerity and the truth. All right, just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna go in the spirit, see where it take me. All right, all right, you all see what's happening, right, in uh, Houston, uh, I believe in Missouri too. Um, yeah, here, yeah, here, here, uh, 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 in Missouri, um, Minnesota, you know, uh, in uh. uh uh, Denver, Colorado, you know, in uh, um, in uh, uh, L.A., right? So there's what? Protests, right? Let's get this. Right. And, uh, Let's get this first, then I'll go to it. This is uh, Isaiah, sorry, Matthew 24 and, uh, and 7. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All right? Now, so, so you, so you have Jacob against Esau, right? You even have, uh, you even have, uh, um, uh, um, other, um, uh, other, uh, uh, Edomites standing against and coming up against Edomites, right? Now it says, well, it says, um, uh, if Satan sinned against Satan, how Shall his kingdom stand? So let's, let me see if I can find that. Okay. This is Matthew 12 and 26. Matthew 12 and 26 says, And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall his kingdom stand? Right? So you have... Uh, 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 um, Edomites uh, coming up against other Edomites. See, because even the because even the so like it, because even the Edomites that's that's coming up against Edom, they are tired of their own people's shit, man. They're sick of it, man. They're tired of it. They are tired of the lies and all this, man. See. So they are tired of everything, man. Right? Let's get this real quick. Come. On. Say, um, uh, verse, verse 11. It says, And many false prophets shall arise and deceive many. Right? Now, that dude, uh, uh, Grandmaster Jay. Right, the uh, the agent provocateur, right? He's basically claiming to be a messiah, right? He's claiming to basically be a man of the Lord, basically, right? But he's been basically set up to 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 uh, deceive two thirds of a. Uh, of Jacob, right? 
right? This is uh, verse 5, and I'm going to go to it. It says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many, right? Now, Grandmaster J, right? He's a deceiving the two-thirds of Israel, man, right? Because they have no idea that he's an agent, man. They don't know that, okay? And they are, are uh, all right, and he's, and he's uh, satisfying their flesh, right? He's satisfying their flesh, okay? Because now I understand, now, Jay, I understand, man. I'm tired of it too, man. I'm sick of it too. All right? But using the sword to, to, because now using the sword against the man that was blessed with the sword is retarded. It's stupid, man. It's stupid. Okay? Esau's blessing is the sword, man. So you can't beat him at his own blessing. Okay? Come on, man. Now, of course, hey, man, the two-thirds, man, they don't get it, man. Right? Let's get this. Let's get Romans real quick. Let's get Romans 11 and 7. This is Romans 11 and 7. Hold on. Say, what then? Israel has not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right? Now, all right, now, now Israel is is seeking for what? The uh, the uh, the uh, uh, the truth, truth, man. They are seeking for the Savior, man. Right? They are seeking for the Savior. But the election, the elect of the nation of Israel, have obtained it, man. We all right, man, the the all right, man, uh the hopeful elect. We know who the Savior is, man, all right? And the Savior is Yahweh Shah. Right? Let's get this. Right? This is Second uh, Corinthians 10 and uh, 3. It say, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Right? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. See? Let's get this. First Corinthians 2 and uh, 5. Let's see what it say. No. Sorry. Uh, okay. Con, uh, um, uh, This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 5. It says, Let your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of Yahweh. Right? So, Jay, you're not supposed to have faith in that dude, uh, Grandmaster Jay, man. Right? He's not the Savior, man. He's not the... He's not the Messiah, man. Okay? He's not. He's not, man. Right? Now, in the video, right, he's talking all that tough shit, right? But was he on the front lines, though? No, he wasn't. Right? Now, he said he went to to uh, to Georgia, I think, uh, where, where the guy, uh, um, Ahmad uh, uh, Aubrey was uh, killed, right? But how do you know that? You weren't there with him, were you? No, you weren't. See? Let's 
say what you can and run this shit across the phone. I should have wrote that down. Okay, this is uh Second Corinthians two and eleven. It says, "Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices." Right. Now, Jay, Grand Grandmaster Jay, right? He's he's one of Satan's devices, man. He's one of Esau's devices. Okay, he's one of Satan's devices, man. Right uh, to uh to do what man to uh, deceive you man don't be ignorant man stop being ignorant man okay now the spiritual now the spiritual demon Satan right this is what this is talking about right he's working through who he's working through Esau Edom okay now the spiritual demon Satan he he works he works for who he works for Yahweh Bashem Elishai. Okay? So, so, uh, so, the spiritual demon Satan, right? He's doing the will of Yahweh Bashem Elishai on the left hand side. See? Right? And he's going to get. Uh, a lot of you Israelites uh, slayed, man. He's going to get a, a lot of you slayed. Uh, he's going to get a lot of you killed, man. Come that right, yep. Yeah. Zechariah 13 and 8. You say, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, two, Slavia, saith Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third should be left therein, right? So, the two thirds of Israel, they will what? They will be cut off, right? And they will be destroyed, okay? Hold on, real quick. What's that? Got it. All right? Yeah, this is uh, this is First Peter. It might be First Peter. Let's see real quick. Let's see what it say. No, that ain't, that ain't the one. All right, this is First First Peter four and seven. All right, First Peter, like me, First Peter four and seventeen. Say, for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. They will first begin at us. What shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? Right now, two thirds of now two thirds of Israel they're not obeying the gospel. Okay, they are are trying to they are trying to establish their own righteousness. Okay, and they're going to lose. Okay. Now, of course, right, it's, it's according to prophecy, but hey, man. I just had another script. Forgot it that quick. Forgot it, but I'll get this one instead. This is uh, the book of Jeremiah. I believe it's chapter 15. Let's see. Chapter 15. Let's see. Jeremiah 15. Let's see. Okay. This is. Um, hold on. Come. Huh, this is. Uh, Jeremiah 15 and 1. It says, Then said Yahweh unto me, Though Moses and Aaron stood 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 before me, 
my mind cannot be toward this people. Right? Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Right? And it shall come to pass. If they if they say uh, 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 to thee, um, whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt, 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 fuck, then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh for slaughter, such as for death to death, and such as for the sword to the sword, and such as for the famine to the famine, and such as for the captivity to the captivity. And I will appoint over them four kinds. Four kinds of what? Four kinds of judgment. Right? Say, God saith Yahweh, the sword to slay and the dogs to tear. And, God, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. See? So, Jake. So the, to the so the two thirds of Israel, they have four kinds of judgment, right? Four kinds of judgment, man. Okay. Four kinds of judgment, right? You Jakes will learn to fear Yahweh Bashem Al Right? You will learn to fear the King of Terrors. Okay. Right. Because we are in the time of Jacob's trouble. Just to let you know that. We are in the time of Jacob's trouble. This is the Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right? So, Jacob's trouble. Okay, now, now, all right. Now, all of us will go through it, yeah. But the elect will be saved, but the elect will be saved from it though. Alright? But you two thirds, you got death coming to you, man. You got judgment coming to you, Slock it. Alright, man, you got judgment, judgment coming to you, man. Right? And four kinds of what? Death. Four kinds of judgment, man. That's what you got coming to you. Okay? Because you were trusting in, because you were trusting in the sword for what? King David, he never trusted in the sword. Let me get that. Yeah, the reason why I say it's, I say it's a lot because I know how YouTube is. They would take down your uh, your channel over the smallest thing. Let's see. Okay. Psalms 44 and uh, 6. Psalms 44 and 6. Psalms 44 and 6, it says, For I will not trust in my bow, right? Neither shall my sword save me, right? And this is something David. Hmm. Huh. Okay, the chief musician of the sons of of uh, uh, Korah, right? Mishael, right? So, you were trusting in the sword and it wasn't your blessing, Jake. That's stupid, man. You're supposed to be trusting in in Yahweh Basham al that right now. The Zealots, hey, they will get this thing kicking off. All right? They will get this thing kicked off, man. That's their lot. That's their job. They are doing their job, man. They are staying in their lot. Okay?
All right, man. Because, man, this is the beginning of sorrows, man. This is the beginning of sorrows. Now, it's going to get tough, man. It is going to get tough. It is going to get tough and it's going to get bad. Right? But the elect don't have nothing, don't have nothing, don't have nothing to worry about, man. Because the elect and their families will be, will, because the elect and their families will be taken care of, man. They will be kept safe. They will be kept safe, period, man. Okay? Oh, let's get this. Let's get Psalms 17 and 13. That might be it. Psalm 17 and 13, it says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right? Now, the wicked is who? Esau, Edom. Right? And he's going to come down on all of us. Okay? He's going to come down on all of us, man. Right? Now, the elect are praying for Redemption and deliverance from the wicked, which is the sword of Yahweh Mashiach Shah. The two thirds, they ain't praying for that. Right? Because they will take up arms and be carnal. That's on them, man. Like uh, the prophet Jeremiah said, pray not for this people. That'll be it. This is Jeremiah. Slap you, man. Jeremiah. All right, Jeremiah 11 and 14. Come, it says, Therefore, pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them. In the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. See? So, the two-thirds, I'm not praying for them. I don't care about the two-thirds, man. They they have to be cut off, man. All right? Because the only ones that that matter is, is the elect. The elect is who you pray for. Okay? And we pray that we are... Of that number because we're not sure. All right, but Jay, stay spiritual, man. Don't let that dude, uh, Grandmaster Jay, uh, uh, it causes you to sin, man. Get that. Okay. Um, book of Ephesians, Ephesians, uh, four and twenty six says, Be ye angry and sin not, let not the sun go down on your wrath, right? Neither give place to the devil, right? So don't let The uh, con, art right, man. So don't let Esau Edom get you revved up where you start doing stupid stuff. Where you start doing just stupid shit, man. Be angry, yes, man. Be angry, man. I'm angry, but guess what though, man? I have to deal with it. I have to deal with it, man. Okay. Be angry, but sin not. Meaning, don't act carnal, man. Don't do nothing stupid. They say, neither give place to the devil. All right. Don't let don't don't let this man cause you to act carnal and lose your mind, man. Stay spiritual, Jake. 
stay spiritual, man, and have spiritual discernment. Okay? So with that, I say shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash. Rapid thumb, double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, that rule well, and a salute and a shalom to all the occupants that's out here laboring, laboring and pushing his truth in all sincerity and in truth. And with that, I say shalom.